Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Capricorns out there. So, a love coming spread for all of my Cappies out there for the week of November 24th to the 30th. So, without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. What kind of love is coming towards my, my Cappies during the week of November 24th? To the 30th. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm feeling. There you go. Ooh. Oh shit. Okay. Cappies, cappies, cappies. Right off the gate, you have a fire sign individual: Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. That is wildly sexually attracted to you okay um there also we have the empress card here which means um there's a sense of um abundance fertility uh love material happiness so there this individual is not only sexually attracted to you but there's also um an aspect of wanting to um take things in a deeper direction also like with fertility pertaining to children and things of that nature in addition here we have the temperance card, which is moderation. There's going to be a sense of moderation, so they want to have an equal give and take with you. And finally, here with this individual, they're pretty sure that they're gonna they're they're they're, they're gonna win this race here. They're gonna they're gonna win this race with these other individuals here because they feel like you and them really truly have a bond, a connection here. So with that being said, there's also an earth sign individual. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual here. Now, this individual is really, really down to earth, really, really grounded. Pretty, pretty good as far as Pentacles goes as well. Okay? Um, now, with, with that being said here, again, this person is very grounded, very down to earth. Um, but, with that being said, there's also a lot of other potential options here for this other individual as well. Um, Seven of Cups energy here. So, there's a lot of potential other individuals that are here, that this person could engage with, but they're choosing to spend their time pursuing you because they feel as though you're uh, worth a worthwhile pursuing, worth worth pursuing. Now, finally here, we also have a another fire sign, Page of Wands. Now, this fire sign individual, again, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, this individual has a very exploratory energy here, okay? So, this individual not only... Um, not only it has its exploratory uh, energy about them, but they're also looking to take a leap of faith with you and take take you along with this explorational journey that they're going on, to, that they're, they're, they're pursuing as well. So in other words, um, they're going to take you for this wild ride that they're, they're going, they're pursuing. So let's kind of recap here real quick. In case I really wasn't clear. So we have a, a fire sign, first fire sign individual, Sagittarius Aries or Leo. That is really, really feeling, okay? We're talking about feeling you to there's the sexual attraction, but they're also talking about long-term commitment, abundance, fertility, possible children. They're willing to take give an equal give and take with you, but also they think they pretty much you're pretty much feeling the same. There's an assured success here with this four pentacles here. So that's telling us that. They're pretty, they're pretty, pretty sure themselves here, pursuing you. That you pretty much feel the same, and they're going to, they're going to definitely. But these other individuals, they need to get to the back of the bus because they got, they are in the passenger side. Actually, they're in the driver's side, driver's seat. So they're guiding this thing. Believe they believe where they needed to go. Um, additionally, there is an Earth sign individual, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, King of Pentacles, very down to earth, very, very grounded, very good with their finances as well. Um, now, with that being said, you're not the only person that they're looking at, they're pursuing here, because they have a lot of choices, okay? There's a lot of choices in this particular, in, in, in their particular perspective, but they believe, putting all else aside, everything being equal here, that you're the person they really want to spend the most time with and get to know. And finally here, we have the Page of Wands. That is a very exploratory energy here. Um, and... They're looking to take a leap of faith and have you come along with them while they go through this exploration uh, together. They want to do this together with you. So that's a pretty interesting, 
pretty interesting scenarios there. With that being said, let's see what types of energy, what type of energies, what type of strengths rather are my Capricorns going to be dealing with? What kind of what kind of strengths are my Capricorns going to be dealing with during the week of November 24th to the 30th? What kind of strengths are my Capricorns going to be dealing with during the week of November 24th to the 30th? Here we go. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So, right from the start, we got the Knight of Pentacles. That tells us that, again, either methodical or strategic, interchangeable. Okay, I use them as interchangeable terms depending on the card surrounding it. This particular, uh, with this particular case I would say strategic so you're being very strategic about how you approach um, how you approach your romantic life okay so you're being very strategic um, being very careful okay why are you being careful because we got the three of swords here so again these are all your strengths um, you're being careful because at one point um, you got heartbroken because there was a third party situation involved here. So you were kind of heartbroken and that kind of left you stunted a little bit. So you're like, okay, cool. Once been twice shy. Now I'm going to be a little bit more careful about how I pursue things. And you're doing this with a clear head, ace of swords, clear head, no mental block. It's just complete clear level headedness. Okay. Um, because the one thing you're not going to deal with is sneaky ass behavior. Mm -mm. If a person, like I said, like I've been saying here for the past couple of weeks, okay, relationships takes all shapes, forms, and sizes. Some people are into this, some people are into that, some people are into open relationships, some people are into committed relationships. Is If the person is straight up open about what they're looking for, that's one thing, okay? But that sneaky shit, you know what I mean? That, that causes problems when you're sneaky about it, folks, okay? If you're sneaky about it, then it causes problems. If you if you want to date, that's fine. If you want to say, hey, listen, you know, if you're into other forms of relationships, that's cool. But you got to come fucking correct. You can't be sneaking around because that's how people get hurt. Okay? Emotionally, spiritually, even sometimes physically, you fuck with the wrong person. So just food for thought. All right? So with that being said, also... You are in a, an exploratory mindset, okay? You're looking to explore new things, maybe things that you, people or, or things that you, you weren't interested in before. You're like, you know what? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll give it a shot. So that's that's where we're going with that. And finally, here you're, willing, you're looking to take that leap of faith. Again, you're willing to take that leap of faith towards uh, more of a dynamic, diverse mindset, whereas though maybe before you weren't ready to. So with that being said, let's see what types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. What types of things from the past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things from the past could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation? Here we go. Well, for one thing is, you definitely want to move towards smoother waters. Before, your thing was really choppy, so you're moving towards a more tranquil, smooth rational perspective here that's what you want also in the past you weren't too much feeling yourself now you're feeling yourself feel like you're worthy of finding something of substance you're worthy of transparency and honesty okay and finally also we have the hermit card here hermit card tells me you've done a lot of soul searching a lot of self-reflection okay so you've done the work internally on yourself that you needed to do here so with that being said let's see what additional information spirits once again, before I shut this thing down, what additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirits want to give before I shut this thing down here? Here we go. Wow, okay, so. So. Motion. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Don't stop. Just keep keep it moving forward. Keep moving forward. Don't don't take a step back. 
keep moving forward, keep things in motion. So in other words, just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving, okay? Um, whatever you're doing is working, just keep on moving in that exploratory direction, exploring new opportunity because there is potential there. There's the, the potential for something really, really special. That, you know, there's really going to be something really, really special at the end of this tunnel. So that's something that you really want to keep an eye, eye out for. And finally, renewal, okay? There's a sense of renewal here, a renewal energy, a renewal spirit, a renewal opportunity, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. If you haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe, okay? This is a general love reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, that's cool. Um, if you want me still to give you a personal reading, I'll leave a link and stuff below so I can dig into your particular situation. And if this does resonate with you, that's even better. I'll leave the links below. You can guys, you guys get a personal reading. With that being said, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.